Hey, this is Richard, and welcome to another episode of Making Something from Nothing. And what we're going to be doing today is making a new poor man's crucible out of this fire extinguisher. I have some uh, casting projects coming up, and I need some nice clean aluminum. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of junk and uh, oxide stuff in here, so we're going to do away with this one. We're going to make a brand new one. If you haven't seen my other video on the uh, poor man's crucible, it's a little bit long and drawn out, so I'm going to try and keep this uh, short and sweet. So the first thing I have to do is empty this out of the uh, dry chemical, which is always fun. So let's go do that. Okay, I got it clamped down to the table so it don't go squirming away from me. And uh, I'm just going to take a three pound sledge and knock it. Now, this entire top section here is aluminum except for the handles. So, I'm going to go ahead and melt this down. And you always want to check these tubes and see if they're steel or aluminum. This one's steel, so I'll save that for another project. Well, I'm going to go ahead and dump out whatever dry chemical is left, and then we're going to come back and we're going to cut this guy. Well, I'm going to make this uh, crucible a little bit taller than uh, the old one, hold a little bit more aluminum. So I'll go ahead and use this uh, plastic ring that came on the uh, fire extinguisher to hang it and we'll just draw a line. Now I'm going to go ahead and clamp it back up and break out the angle grinder. Well, that wasn't too bad. I've seen it go worse. Okay, so we got a nice clean crucible now. All right, so now we got our holes for the uh, Frankenstein bolts. So we'll just pull these old bolts off, swap it over to the new one, and that's not going to work. Idiot. How about we try that?
That's better. And that's the nice thing is you could reuse these uh, these bolts and these nuts. Even though they get red hot, they still work. two down. So now we get our uh, Frankenstein bolts in and now there's just one last thing to do. Have to install one of these guys down here to go ahead and be able to uh, tip your little cup so to say. Nice thing about the fire extinguisher is every fire extinguisher as long as it's not aluminum We'll give you one of these uh, pull pins. Normally they're steel, but check them with a magnet. And I'm just going to go ahead and drill a hole down into this lip. Insert this guy in there. And then uh, just a couple of drops of steel to hold it in place, and we're done. I've got the crucible clamped down, and you have to make sure that you install this guy kind of like uh, 90 degrees to uh, to these two bolts so I'm just going to eyeball it, it's not rocket science as long as you're pretty close it should work good that's perfect See if I'm going to break out the uh, oxyacetylene and go ahead and gas weld it or break out the uh, Lincoln Electric uh, arc welder. So I'm going to go ahead and clean uh, this guy up just a little bit with a little sandpaper. Get some of the crud off it. Okay, well, we got a brand new one. We're going to go ahead and retire this guy. And just like this one, now we have a, a little pouring loop to go ahead and tip our crucible this way when it's full. And it turned out pretty nice. And these things actually, uh, you know, a, at least for me, you know, there's a lot of debate, you know, on my other video about the, uh, the poor man's crucible on how long they last and this and that, but uh, as long as you don't abuse it and, you know, cook it up to 2,000 degrees, uh, I generally get about, uh, you know, about 8 melts, sometimes 10, sometimes 12. Just depends on how you abuse them or not abuse them, but they work really good. You pick it up from here, you tilt it from here, and uh, there we go, guys and gals. Now I'm going to be having some uh, casting videos coming up so be sure and subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified of uh, future videos that come out. Apparently Google's doing something new so making it harder and harder for people to find the the videos that I put out so hit the subscribe button like the video uh, that helps get it seen and I will talk to you later. In the meantime, happy casting.